Brown bread. Talking brown bread. Talking brown bread. Talking brown bread. Talking brown bread. Oracle, spin the the brown bread in. Do the music. Brown bread us. Sunny and then we are. Oh, it was close. This Ray is Walking Brown time Bread. for the Walking Brown Bread, season 11, episode, S- episode six. six? Yeah. Is it episode six, Oracle? I think it was episode six. Was it called? It was, oh, I did remember, I did have it in my head, I've forgotten it. Now. Oh, I rely on you for these kinds of Yeah, I did have it earlier, but I forgot it. That's you know, a nightmare. You know what it's like. I do know what it's like. But this episode, uh, we had... Um, uh, a couple of little stories going on. So Daryl's obviously with the Reaps. Daryl's with the Reaps now, chilling. He's chilling, Max and relaxing. He's loving it. I, I, he's really jumped into that group pretty quickly. He has, but there's a, they don't trust him. Well, the one guy doesn't. I mean, he straight up just cut off someone's finger. I know. He's like, hey, hey I, uh, I want him to trust me. Things that you got, you cut got, your finger off. When you're in a situation like that, you've got to be smart and you've got to decide, you know, what decisions you're going to make. Smart, you're going to cut someone's finger off. Well, if you want to make sure that they don't suspect I mean, you. I, I know he's not an important character, but still, he's like a good guy, right? Well, Daryl barely knew him. He barely knew him, didn't give a shit about him. You know, it's as much his fault as it was his. Was it? Yeah, was, <laughs> the bloke should have just told him what the fuck was going on. I guess it was self-defense. It was. <laughs> Basically self-defense. Right. Um, Please yeah. come along, they, they, they wouldn't look at, they would just shrug his shoulders I mean, out. he should have told him. He did say, hey, I'm going to cut your finger off now. Yeah, I said, I'm going to hey, do it. I'm going to do it. Oi, give, me the info. Info. give me the info. He was, he was giving him the rub. He's like, come on. Come on, give him the Iggy. Yeah, give him, give him the, the Iggy. Give him the squeeze. Told him what to do. And the guy didn't listen. Didn't listen. And so then he lost a finger. And ended up but, brown bread. Well, look at it. It was on his left hand. So not a finger that you use that much. But then the guy killed him anyway. Then the other guy, yeah. Towards so the, the end of the episode, we find that out, right? Yeah, the Pope killed him in the end. Pope so kills him. Brown and then, bread. And then he's like, don't worry. I got all the information I, I needed, needed out of him. And Daryl's like, shit, he knows I'm a rat. He knows I'm a rat. Yeah. And then they're walking off, they're looking back at him, laughing like, wait, that guy's a fucking I know. rat. It was like, it was like Mean Girls. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't sit with us. <laughs> That's exactly what it was like. <laughs> and his girlfriend doesn't know what to do. No, she's there, she's like, well, fucking hell, I'm in a pickle. I'm in a right pickle now. <laughs> Caught in the middle I'm again. St- stuck in the middle with Daryl. Stuck Darryl. in the middle with you. Doom, doom, doom. That's Steeler's Wheel. Steeler's Wheel, is that what they're called? Yeah, Steeler's Wheel. You know everything about music. Um, so yeah, uh, Daryl's uh, got himself in a bit of a bit of a pickle. Um, they went to find uh, Negan and all that. Um, they went in the right house, but they was in the basement. What were they doing in the basement? Oh, you didn't. Didn't they go in the wrong house to begin with? Um, I think they. No, I th- yeah, I think so. Daryl was like, "Oh, they're in that house over there." And then they went in the right one. Uh, and then and Daryl like saw that it was the, under the thing. The things, so they see him come in. Yeah, giving them the iggy. Yeah, Daryl gives a lot of iggies. Daryl loves an Iggy. He loves an Iggy. And uh, then, yeah, Daryl hid him with the with a rug. And then they found that there was a trapdoor under the rug. Because he didn't hide it very well. No, because he was stood right on top of it, <laughs> making it very obvious he wasn't about to move anywhere. Yeah, just stood there. Um, so Daryl's an idiot. Well, he stood in this one place. <laughs> but they managed to get out in time. Yeah, he's like, oh, oh, you're hiding something. See, I wasn't hiding anything. <laughs> See, I told you they'd gone. <laughs> Duh. Well, I wasn't killing time or anything. They're gone. Gone. Um, so yeah, Daryl uh, got rid of them, um, and then on the other hand, we had the story of the the creepy house, the cre- the Resident Evil so was, house. Was it Connie? Connie, the deaf chick, the deaf chick, and uh, what I her really new liked, friend. what I re- did really, yeah, because that was the guy, wasn't it, that had the? F- did he have the family on the island with Michonne? Maybe is that who that guy was? I don't know. Because He's he was the guy. saying Michonne gave me a second chance. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I forget. Yeah, I, I couldn't remember where. I recognized him. He's a guy. But I couldn't remember where whereabouts from, and I was too lazy to look it up. Yeah, a lot but of that. But Connie, what I really liked about that episode as well is like when she was searching around the house on her own, they turned off all the sound. Yeah, it's a bit deafening, isn't it? And it was just... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking deaf. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Thought I was done. Very confusing. Um, but what I like, I like the fact that they, they, they just made it silent while she was looking around, so it made, that, it, made it even more tense. Yeah, it was like watching a quiet place. Yeah. So she was walking around and he's like, because you can't hear anything. Obviously, she can't hear anything. It's like, is something going to pop up behind her out of nowhere? Yeah. 
And then it turns out that house was, uh, they weren't alone. I was confused the whole time. At first, I was like, is she dreaming? Is this really happening? Yeah, because the, the guy made a good point. He's like, you haven't slept in days. You haven't slept you in You might days. be hallucinating at this point. I Have thought a she was. Nap, will you? And she she like, saw the, and the yellow like, eye. I'm not, I'm not hallucinating. I don't speak sign language. but Yeah, I don't know what that voice was. That's a deaf person voice. <laughs> <laughs> is it not? Just, not, it's, if I was deaf, that's what I would sound like. I'm okay. Like, not hallucinating. <laughs> if you just, you just mumble the words. You need to say the whole thing. Yeah. People get it. Yeah. You do the sign and then you say it's half the word yeah. and then people just figure it out. But no, she uh, she saw the eye through the hole. She, uh, and she's like, oh my God, there's an eye. And she went downstairs and the bloke was like, what the fuck are you on about? I can't understand you. And then they have to like, write notes to each yeah, other. Yeah, she's takes like, forever. and then she just puts, we're not alone. Why don't you just write, I just saw an eye in the little hole in the cabinet in the bathroom. Exactly. We need to get the fuck out. Let's leave. And it's that point I was like, well, let's go have another look. Let's, I'll check it out. I would have fucking left. Yeah, fuck this house. I would have taken my chances with the fucking walkers outside that I could stab in the air. Exactly. I'll, I'll see these guys later. Rather than some motherfucker that's living in a wall. And what, who was these people anyway? I don't know. They were like, some scary people. They were like far gone. They were like... They were like... Uh, Do you reckon like, they were cannibals? I think so. I thought they were cannibals and they I got think a bit they crazy cannibals. from tainted meat. Yeah. And I feel like they've just... Yeah. Because they have like regressed Yeah. And they weren't like real humans. But like, granted, crazy. like the walk, like the walking dead is now what? Uh, 15 years deep 15 years uh, 11 years deep there were 11 seasons but there was a 4 year jump when Rick went oh yeah of course yeah so we're like 15 years deep yeah so we are we're in deep okay we are fucking balls deep very deep we are balls deep balls deep in, deep in, in, in Walking, walking Dead, dead. <laughs> <laughs> so we are we are right up in there and that that, that, that this Walking Dead is screaming right now oh yeah um, it's going too far it is grabbing onto the fucking headboard and it is just fucking being taken that's disgusting um so yeah the uh brown bread is very very long and i don't know how these people have regressed this much yeah it's not because like, they're wearing loincloths i mean yeah they're basically cavemen the cavemen they're cavemen yeah i mean 15 years isn't that long really in terms of evolution yeah and i was like <laughs> how you regress to that amount like unless they've got the taste the taste of the flesh Mm, probably that's what it is where did you get that taste for the flesh because down in the basement it was like Madonna's apartment just laden with bones 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 yeah tainted meat maybe they eat zombies maybe maybe they eat zombies could do but yeah they were uh, yeah they were a bit screwed up but they were quite creepy they like ring girl in crawling out of the holes I know why are they crawling everywhere like you've got legs yeah or like you, you can use your legs you can you use your legs you have to use your hands to move around yeah. it's very awkward I don't, under- I don't quite understand the, the, the idea behind it because no but it's pretty cool it was good though it, it was creepy I, it was entertaining it was interesting it was something like different they got into Resident and Evil land and they were like yeah. oh we're stuck in this house now and it's creepy yeah and I didn't, I didn't mind it and it was tense at parts especially when they, they especially when they turned out all the sound I think that's what really hyped up the tension I think for yeah me. well I could not hear anything when that happened yeah that was the point oh right now I get it yeah because she's deaf they made you deaf yeah I get it so she's walking around the house you can't hear a thing all you can see is what she's looking at and then and all suddenly, I hear is Oracle, like, what's going on? Is it, is it, have you turned what's, it down? Have you sat on the remote? Now? Have you sat on the remote again? <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I thought it was, it was pretty good. I quite it liked a good it. Episode. I like the bit she's, like, banging on the wall. Yeah, and, and like, he doesn't know whether it's one of them or... Yeah, she doesn't speak. She's, like, mute yeah. as well, right? She doesn't. Yeah, I, I would have thought she could... I, I'm assuming dead people can talk. Apparently she can't. I'm so unless she's, she's like, like, full on mute. Full on mute. So she's like just banging on the wall, and he's like, "What's that banging on the wall?" So he starts stabbing at the wall, and she's like, "No, it's me." Yeah, because she's it's that because when it stabs in, like, say this is the knife. It's like that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And she's nearly brown bread. She's nearly brown breaded there. And then she's shitting her pan. And then she's like trying to get her arm through. It's like that. Still could be anyone's arm. <laughs> Still could be anyone's arm. <laughs> just chops it off. <laughs> I would have loved that. He just fucking just went to town, stabbing the shit out of this wall. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was with her. Open, like, oh fuck yeah! <laughs> Should have thought of that. Whoopsie, whoopsie doodle. <laughs> so I don't know if he's going to brown bread because he was stabbed in the back, weren't he? Yeah, didn't he die? I don't think he died. Did he not die? No, she managed to get him up against the wall. Oh yeah, and then uh, that she was covered cool, us. I thought that was a cool little bit as clever, well. Clever, very clever. Because I was like, that shit ain't gonna work. What's she trying to do here? Covered herself in covered in blood, zombie blood, and then opened the door, and they walked in and just fucking went to town on them all. Right, and then they just mooched on out. That was pretty clever. And then uh, I mean, it was then, nice of them to like give her like five minutes to cover herself in zombie blood first. Yeah, because like, they were all like creeping like, towards they're crawling her, crawling towards her, and then she's just like. <laughs> 
All right, guys, one minute. So it's covering herself up, and then he's like, all right, we'll take our time. Yeah. We'll just slowly, very slowly. Give her a chance. Give her a chance to feed up. Go on, let, let her do a bit. <laughs> <laughs> let her sell it. Let her sell it. Work the crowd. Work the crowd. <laughs> she's like, ah. <laughs> That's basically what she's doing. And then she's like, the door, she's like, ah. Uh, yeah! <laughs> Hot tag! <laughs> the zombies come in. So, oh, close bite. line, close I line. Mean, a drop kick. <laughs> Biting. Biting. <laughs> Tearing them apart. Tearing them apart. This house is on fire. This house is fucking coming down. <laughs> like a barn burner, that, that was. That was fun, though. I enjoyed it. Um, and, then, and then they met up with Sir Carol, and that came right in the nick of time. Yeah, of course. As you do. Timing, as always. Um, I can't remember the, her sister's name. It's the girl with the short hair, Lucinda. one with the with the slingshot. She's there's there's a certain song on Spotify that I can't remember what it is right now, but every time it plays, it's like a, a black rapper voice, and every time it plays, I just picture her from the Walking Dead because she looks like a black rapper, right? She's I like, guess. Yeah, what going on? Like, but it's not what she sounds like in the Walking Dead. But in the song, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's probably what she'd sound like if she was a rapper. Okay. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why my head I does that, don't, don't. but that's what happens. Okay, sure. You know, I live on Spotify. I don't know who any of the people are. No. So I have to imagine what people sound like. This is why I always choose music that I know. 